The objective of this lesson is that students will be able to describe equal shares as halves, thirds, and fourths. Students will be able to recognize that equal shares of identical holes do not have to be the same shape. Now first off we have this problem. Henry has a square canvas. He wants to divide the canvas into four equal parts and paint each part a different color. How could he do this? You can pause the video to create your own model. And here are some possible solutions. Henry could partition the square into four equal parts by drawing a T, a vertical line and a horizontal line, so that there are four individual squares. Henry could also do vertical lines or horizontal lines to show those four equal parts. Or Henry could put an X on the square canvas to show those four equal parts. Now each of these parts cover an equal area. Equal areas can be different shapes on different models. Some models may have partitions that are square, like the image on the left. Others will have rectangular partitions, like the one in the middle, or triangular partitions, like the one on the right. So how many equal areas? Four. Each equal area is called a fourth or a quarter. Each color is one fourth or one quarter of the whole canvas. Fourths and quarters of any whole are the same. Now here is a non-example. This is a non-example of fourths because the areas of the four partitions are not equal. This next section I'm going to be using the GeoBoard app which is a free digital learning tool found on mathlearningcenter.org where you can use a web-based version or you can download the free app. The GeoBoard app is a tool for exploring a variety of mathematical topics and we will be using it to show fractions but you can see on here that it can also be used for polygons, learning about perimeter area, angles, congruence, and more options. Here is another problem. On another square canvas, Henry wants to divide the canvas into two equal parts and paint each part a different color. How could he do this? Again, you can pause to create a model. What shape is the canvas? A square. And how many equal parts does the square need to be partitioned into? Two. Here are some examples. Each partition covers an equal area. Equal areas can be different shapes on different models. So how many equal areas? Two. Each equal area is called a half. Each area is one half of the whole canvas. I'm going to use a geo board to show how I can partition a square into halves. First off, I'm going to create my square. So I have a yellow elastic band creating my square. Now if I grab a blue rubber band, I could go in a diagonal direction to show those two equal halves. I could also go in the other direction. I could also go in this other diagonal direction to show those equal halves. I could also make a vertical line to show those two equal halves or a horizontal line to show those two equal halves. Now let me show you another example. Is this image showing halves? Yes, it is. Even though the shape of the half is not a triangle or a rectangle like the previous ones, these halves are showing polygons, but they still are equal in size. This is a non-example of halves because the areas of the two partitions are not equal. Our next problem is that Henry has a rectangle canvas he wants to divide the canvas into four equal parts and paint each part a different color. How could he do this? You can pause now to create a model. Here are some examples of how Henry could partition the rectangular canvas into four equal parts. Here's our next situation. Sarah has a circle-shaped cork board. She plans to cut it into equal pieces to use in a three-dimensional sculpture. 
model how she can divide it into three equal pieces. You can pause now to model that. What shape is the cork board? A circle. How many equal parts does the circle need to be partitioned into? Three. Now here is an example of using a geo board of what it could look like. Is there more than one way that Sarah could partition her cork board to make three equal parts? The only way to do it is to change the orientation of the circle, like to spin it. But there's only one way and it's just like this. In this video, we partitioned a square into halves and fourths. We partitioned a rectangle into fourths and a circle into thirds. In all of these situations, they had to do with art projects. Now I want you to think, would there be other times in real life that I would need to partition a square, rectangle, or circle into halves, thirds, or fourths? It's time for you to do some practice on your own. All I need is affection, affection of what you want. 